picking your donor, choosing your donor, and here you have a choice. All right. When and I, if you look at your sheet, I cannot tell you when you start looking for a donor. Well, agencies tell you start looking for a donor as soon as you want. I actually disagree with that. If you sign with John tomorrow and you start looking for a donor the next day and you find somebody you love, odds are they're not going to wait for you. Now you could reserve them. You could hope they're there nine months from now, but the odds are they're not going to wait for you. So what I would say is work with the agency. They give you a good idea when there's a match. They'll tell you, okay, you match we're looking at September. So start looking for a donor maybe end of July, August, two months before the actual impending match. So you don't get heartbroken. You pick a donor and the donor is not available when really we need them. So when that's the timing, in my opinion, when you should start looking for a donor. Does it hurt starting now? No, you can start looking at the databases and you can identify some people and say, okay, I like this, but then don't be surprised if in six months that donor is not available or she's in cycle with another couple and you have to wait for her to finish her cycle. You're with me, everybody? I'm not confusing you. So the next thing is where do you look for a donor? Well, you have to look on the internet. You don't go from house to house and meet donors. Okay, you don't advertise for donors. It's so simple. It's all online. You see their pictures, you see their profiles, and you can say, okay, I want this woman for because of this and this and this reason that's important to you, which is the next topic I'm going to 